Welcome summoners to Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays for an episode you won't forget. From insane out plays to super close backdoors, this episode is stacked and to top it all off, we're giving away 3 AMD graphics cards at the end. Thanks for joining us today and I'm excited to share these with you all, so let's get going with our number 5 play from Cinna on Lissandra. We all know how fragile each lane is at the start of a game, so we see the enemy Vi ganking mid to sway things in their favor. Lissandra quickly W's to freeze Diana out of range so that she doesn't get slammed with the burst and then she takes her E right as Vi went to deliver the finishing blow. Vi wants to continue the chase to finish her off but ends up backing off because she doesn't have the move speed and then Cinna sees the opening to flash Q ignite, getting her to level 6 so that she survives dying is all in and can turn with her ult for the beautifully calculated double kill in a 1v2. Let's move locations for our next play as we visit the bot lane with Paku on Jinx showing off some sweet synergy with Thresh. Right off the bat we see Rango coming in from River to gank but Paku sees the collapse and flashes the bola and flash down from Annie as Thresh pulls her away with the hook. They turn for the kill on Thresh, but the Lantern goes out and Paku takes it right as Rengar jumps, getting Jinx into range for the kill onto Annie. She goes on Graves as Thresh flays the Rengar midair and Paku continues to fire away at Graves, finishing him as well as they turn to Rengar who's trying so hard to at least kill Thresh. He flashes away so Rengar goes in the brush to jump and ends up flashing which doesn't quite get him where he needs to be as Lee Sin shows up and helps slay the beast for the 3 for nothing. Although Jinx submitted this play, I'm gonna throw in some mad props to Thresh as well for the great teamwork displayed in this clip. Our number 3 play by Zeus on Riven is short and sweet but definitely packs a big punch. In the beginning we see her slip into the brush as 4 enemy players chase Graves thinking they've gotten a free pick. Riven holds her position and readies her Q, popping the ult before queuing over the wall into a massive 4 man knockup stun and instant triple from the burst. Not only does Graves get away in this play while Riven body 3 of them but they also chase down a Mumu for the unofficial quad over to Riven. We've all come across that one player that never runs to their team when in trouble so it's really refreshing to see a catch on Graves get turned into a beautifully executed trap. Incredible setup with the Q over the wall, stun and follow up burst between the ult and Hydra. Landing in its second place we have Zax Blob showing us why he deserves that name in this next play. Blue team is extremely behind and things look like they're about to get worse as 4 enemy players close in. They get on Vi to burst her down as he bounces his way over, splitting them to allow Lucian to single target Ezreal down as Zack moves to slow Vel'Koz. Lucian turns to fight but gets dropped as Zack ease in but instantly gets CC'd as Vel'Koz runs away and Zack flashes to follow. Keep an eye on how many blobs he picks up throughout the remainder of this play but for now he's waiting for Z to come back up, slingshotting himself onto Nami and then he picks up 2 blobs quickly dodging the bubble and then returning to get more blobs as he dodges yet another ability from Vel'Koz. He moves into range W smiting to finish Vel'Koz as the blobs keep him alive just long enough to E on Tanami for the crazy close double and overall 4 for 1. Don't you guys love the tank meta? And for number 1 pro play for this week we have Cyranox on Italy with a play that had me on the edge of my seat. Things are so close but the enemy team has an open nexus so blue team is looking to bring this game to an end. The enemy Zed gets denied on his recall and now blue team sees the opening to run down mid to win so Nidalee chases Nasus and Zed so they can't recall. She heals the full and then launches out a spear connecting it on the dog as she continues after them while her team rushes mid. Her trap spots the Corky also recalling and she stops him with a spear but he valks away and this poor Zed is about to recall but she makes him fight getting the kill. The enemy Nasus teleports back to defend the base so let's pull out what's going on over at the Nexus as Nidalee hustles to get over there as soon as possible. Despite the great attempt to rush the Nexus, Red Team's late game between Nasus and Fizz are just too strong and they successfully hold off Blue Team's attack. Nidalee's in a weird spot here but she decides to back off as the enemy Corky fires some rockets but she jumps over the wall and then perfectly heals his flash auto, shielding the next auto before jumping the wall again and escaping for now. While she holds her breath and continues to run away, we see Fizz take down the friendly Lux so now it's really up to Cyranox to make the player go back to defend. Corky spots her when she jumps over the wall and he instantly W's forward getting right on her tail. Although this must be so intense she stays composed and gets over the wall running for her life as a beautiful W jumps her barely out of range while she beelines it to the nexus. Everyone is closing in but she starts the X Peke going back to cat form to WQ as Corky gets into range as she delivers the finishing blow to take the victory in dramatic fashion. And for the bonus clip of the week we have Uber Kazi on Nunu with a funny play thanks to a little bit of a fail from the enemy team. As these summoners duke it out in the bot lane I have some exciting things to go over including our massive AMD giveaway. For starters I wanted to give a quick shout out to Brandon in the latest stream highlights video we put up about a week ago. I thought it was super funny and well done especially considering he's just getting started with these sort of videos. So for those who haven't seen it here's an annotation you should come back to after entering the giveaway to check it out and show some love. So last time we did an AMD giveaway it was for two of their R7 250Xs but this time we come to you with not only two 250Xs but also one of their 260Xs which is an even nicer model. Just to be clear we're giving away a total of three cards, two of them are 250Xs and one is a 260X. 
That means there are three winners total. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is to find the description box just down below this video and click on the link at the very top. Once you're there, you can pick and choose how you want to enter the giveaway and how many entries you'd like depending on what you feel comfortable doing. It's that simple to enter and anyone can join. This is not restricted to the US only. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays and I'll see you next time for more epic plays in the near future.